Okay, so the next task, task four here is asking us to create a circuit where <clears throat> the double acting cylinder um, is going to move in an oscillating movement. This is where it's forward and backwards in a continuous motion um, to provide a belt timely movement. Okay, when the detent switch is turned on, the piston rod starts oscillating. Uh, two limit switches should be used to control the length of the forward and backward stroke. Um, the speed can be controlled by uh, the one way flow control valves. OK, so if we go over here again. So again, we need a double acting cylinder, two one way flow control valves. We need a detent, oh, sorry, um, a five two way. Directional control valve. Come down here. Type two way valve. Automatically operated. Sorry, electri electrically operated pneumatic valve. OK, so we've got Y1. And Y2. OK, then we need to label these. We're going to label the actuating labels as S2, which is going to be at zero. And S3 is going to be at 100 and 100. OK. So now once we have that, <clears throat> we can go and bring in our, our pneumatic, or sorry, our electrical components. So we can drop in our 24 volts, our zero volts. We're going to need uh, two solenoids. It's a double solenoid. We're going to need a detent switch. We're going to need a couple of make switches, okay, for the limit switches. All right, so we drop those in. And then we can connect them up. OK. Now, um, we need to label these. So these solenoids are going to be Y1 and Y2. And then we can label these switches S1, sorry, S2 and S3. And then our detent can be S1. So now when we simulate and we press S1, it will extend until it hits S3, it sends back and closes again. So again, I can control the speed here. I can open it up so it goes faster. So in this continuous oscillating motion, forward and backwards. Yeah. All right, so that's basically the circuit. It continues all the time until I turn off S1. Then the circuit stops. Press S1, it will keep continuing in an oscillating motion. So that's that's task four.